Yesterday, we built some nest boxes. We want to get those nest boxes in here, skeleton style, so that we can get this chick shaw out to do some work on it. You can see it from here. See the higher tunnel? Well, you kind of can in this screen. See the, see the garden that's next to it and the slope? Kind of dramatic right there. Water goes into the high tunnel when it rains, when we have a big rain event. And I need to chip away at that. Come on, let's go dig a ditch. Woo! See, it's uphill right there. Comes downhill, you can see. How the greenhouse is higher, much higher on that side. I'm thinking a gutter would be a little tricky on this greenhouse. See the water's coming off and here going under, but also water's running off the hill here. So it'd be good to have the drainage on this garden anyway. Her beloved green beans and tomatoes were getting flooded last summer. And my beloved pigs were getting flooded in the winter. Well, I set up a time lapse, but it failed. But you can imagine, we dug up about I don't know, 10 feet. Don't know if we're deep enough. Gonna have to consult Fred on that one. If we just chip at this a little bit every day, we'll get we'll get there before we know it. We're gonna be done in like three days yeah. at the rate we're going. While the boys are milking, Gideon and I are going to pick up this video podcast equipment. We'll put it in the old farmhouse. The idea here is it will be quieter, it will be warmer, and it'll be something that we won't have to Set up, tear down, set up, tear down, set up, tear down. Can't always be up. It's kind of a long room this way. So I'm thinking main camera right here, shooting to the to, shooting to the interview, and then cameras on either side. It'll put depth on either side of them. This is the house that my grandpa bought on the 500 acre or 75 acres. I'm, I'm, I'm already giving away, I'm thinking five, he bought it for 500 bucks in the 30s. Now we're turning it into a studio. The video podcast on Abundance Plus has been such a hit. And I'm enjoying it so much, interviewing the likes of Rory Feek, Jessica and Jeremiah, uh, Brandon Sheard. Rory's, everybody's out, uh, Holistic Hilda, everybody's out. Rory's coming out this week on Abundance Plus. I've really been enjoying the process of interviewing and hanging out with folks. Is that everything, guys? Yeah. All right, come on, let's go. The camera equipment can stay warm. The barn is not heated at all. Ben, we've got, I'm thinking the main camera is setting up right here. I mean, you might have different ideas. Okay, I'll do it. And then that way the two interviewees yeah, like the, te the couch would go boom, boom, and then they would each have depth on either side of them. Okay. Because this room is longer this way than that way. What do you think, though? Yeah, I think, uh, or maybe just like swivel it a little bit so we're looking right, right into that corner. Good luck. You're the guy to do it. Okay, right, we'll figure it out. Got through there. The animal's right out in front today. Nice. Couple interviews on the horizon over there. Jill Winger, Grass Grazed, and Morgan Shaw. That's within the next three months. Should be a hoot. What you making? Um, just put, I'm gonna do potatoes in the oven. Come here, you want some water? It's just water, it's not coffee. Watch. You can fall asleep. Oh, he's gonna go right to sleep. Next step, the almighty poly face designs, design book. Available at polyfacedesigns.com. Uh, we are making this. 
We cannot make it exactly because we don't have these exact, exact, exact nest boxes, but this A-frame, that's what we want. And this tells us exactly how to build it right here. We have about an hour, hour and 15, we till we have to make supper. Are we going down in the basement or are we going to the greenhouse? Uh, I think the basement because we have all the chop tools and the, okay. and the, everything's there. Let's get one done today. Okay. We need to put backing on it and we need to put legs on it. This is going to be about 28 inches off the ground. Okay. We, we just need to go out and build the A-frame. We can also see if we have a piece to cover this back. I don't have any self-tapping screws, I don't think. Uh, so, so scratch that. Let's just build the stand today. Oh, it's because it's bent. Uh, do we not have any more? Or is this all we got? That and We this. can hammer it out. Oh boy. Can you get it out now? I don't it's know. It's still going to be wonky. It's not going to be easy. There we go. I was going to say, my piece are just use your hands. <laughs> Uh, it's about two feet. We have markings according to the book where, where you cut here to here and then you can lean this into each other. Did you get that? Yeah. That gives us 42 inches width if it's 66, but it's not. This is 48 inches. So I just guess it's going to be a little bit more narrow, but yeah, it doesn't need to be almost four feet wide. Put it together, Becky. All right. So that looks good. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I'll put it here, guys. Okay. It's working. I think it's gonna work. We just let's get a however long this is. Put a shelf on it. We need a straight in, in lieu of a chalk line. <laughs> One thing we did do the other day is go get an assortment of screws just for this purpose. What do I want? Two and a half, threes. No chalk line. We couldn't find the chalk line. We're gonna get organized. One day. One day. Closer every day. Clamp that down and we can even it out. Is that gonna work? You can go down a little lower. Keep going down. Keep going down, down. About right there. Does still work? It's gonna work. Yeah. Boom! One to go. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, it will be. And that leaves enough room to do a two by four across for extra support. Yeah. Sweet. I'm calling it there, gotta make supper. We got one down, the second one will go faster. Tomorrow, we'll give these big bad boys a chance. Thanks to the Joel Salatin. I don't know, what are you gonna call that? A-frame model for these old nest boxes? Uh, we'll get one in there, maybe two.